What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's been a few days, I know. I haven't heard from you guys. I miss you guys know that. Um, but today, guys, is the day that I'm going to talk about it. Oh, gosh. So, um, I told you guys that, um, I'm still, I'm still under the weather, y'all, so let me put my damn glasses on, because that's probably one of the problems, too, <laughs> I can't see, but, um, y'all, for most of you guys, you already know that I do have a, um, daughter with mental illness, she's my, um, 27 year old 26 27 i wanted the other child i don't know i don't know i'll stop counting anyway she's somewhere around now i believe it's 27 or she's gonna be 27 but um so um she's she's going through one of her episodes yeah man when i tell you guys this i i don't i I don't even know sometime if I'm coming to go on with this look at this girl. She ain't even little no more, but she gonna always be my little girl. But um she's been working me. She's been working me. I'm sick on top of her her breakdown, her issues. Yeah, I'm just I'm tired. I'm tired. And it's it's like it's nothing nobody else can do, right? It's just something as mothers that we got we have to figure out. And it's like, goodness, this girl is grown, yet I still find myself. Oh gosh. It just never stops, y'all. It never stops. No matter how old they are, they get it, it never stops. I just the the, the 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 headaches, the heartaches at times that this girl puts. Oh gosh, y'all supposed to turn y'all. I'm just all over the thing on place. Um, okay, I gotta go up and come turn around. I'm just gonna be more time. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, but um, yeah, all of this pressure that. An adult child puts on us. It's 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 on me. It's 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 crazy. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. No matter how I try to move on and ignore and, and just man, I just can't sleep, guys. I can't function. I can't. Have, I can't even think right sometimes. This girl put me in a place where I don't care to be. I don't want to be. What in the world do I do, guys? What do you guys do? Like, sometimes I think this girl... And I ask her, would, it, would she be happy if she ran me in a crazy house? Because that's exactly how I feel at times. Like I'm losing my mind. It's nothing. I can do no more with her. Yet she. It's my fault. It's my fault. The reason why. She's the way she are. And I know it's not my fault guys. That I know. But she have it in her head that it is. And I don't know if that's what bothers me or worries me more than anything. It's the fact that that's what she thinks of me. I don't know. Like, I don't know why she... I don't know no more. But it's draining. It takes a toll. I find myself getting aggravated with the ones who 
who only try to help, you know, it's just, unfortunately, they, they can't help me. They can't help me mentally deal with my daughter. And that's what people don't understand or they don't get. It's nothing wrong in my life, like as far as, you know, my husband and my kids that's in my home. It's, it's, but she's, she's mine. You know, she's still, she still is my child. I don't know how people say, you know, <clears throat> oh, you got to let that go so easily. Okay, a, a day here and a day there, okay, you know, I've done it. But the bottom line is, she still has breath in her body. She still is on this earth. And... I'm losing it, trying to find her mind. I'm losing my mind. I tell y'all, this is so draining. It's so draining. This is it's not a switch that I could turn off. It's not a switch that I could turn off. That's why, you know, like, a lot of times when I see, excuse me, people's stories or people doing, that I relate to as far as their behavior goes, you know, it, it saddens my heart to see it because it's like, why, 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 why put your, your family through, I, I guess that's what they mean, hurt people, hurt people. She's hurting, so she want me to feel her pain. And the only thing you need to do is get... <laughs> My daughter, I'm speaking of, actually knows what she needs to do. She have the tools, the materials, the everything she needs. It's just a matter of the choice she makes. It's... I, I don't want to take this because I don't like the way it makes me feel. No, to be honest, you don't want to stop. You don't want to take take that medication because you don't want to stop smoking. That's what you, you, you don't want to stop smoking. She have a nasty habit, y'all. She have a nasty addiction. She's a weed head. And I, I'm at the point where I just don't believe we make you do do and look and act the way these kids act. But they say it's weed. Okay. Okay. Tell that to somebody else. Because I don't believe it. But that's what she say. You know. So. And then they got all these names for stuff. Child. I have no idea what these kids is doing these days. I have no idea. Y'all. Yeah. Somebody, anybody, please. What do I do? What do I do? Other than... You know, I, I know there's no, I, I can't even say other than praying because praying is the solution, right? We have to believe that for us to be able to move on. And that's what's been getting me through this, guys. But my flesh, my, you know, this, this, this stuff is heavy on my heart to see this stuff happening to my child. It's, it's horrible, y'all. It's horrible. I don't know. I can't even sometimes. I, I, my mind going 100 miles an hour. Because I don't know what else to do. Mm. To God be the glory.